So to ensure that the Bath 333 project had the requisite scholarly authenticity, there was only one place to come really, and that's where we're sitting here today, the Bach Archive in Leipzig. This is the fount of all knowledge and research, I would say, in Bach today. It's been uh, established over 70 years. Uh, the staff here are incredibly knowledgeable and helpful, and they received our idea to collaborate on Bach 333. With great enthusiasm and they've been um, unfailingly helpful with uh, providing us and sharing the fruits of their research and also the uh, archival documents they have, pictures, facsimiles and other uh, items that we could reproduce in the artwork of the set. For the past, let's say, 30, 40 years, uh, so many new things were discovered here and my colleagues find new details basically every day and we make sure that in our documentation the work list and the essays that they are absolutely up to date and that the most recent state of, of uh, scholarship is in there. So there are many, many little details that come together here. We prepared special articles on special fields of our work at Bach Archive and Research Department and, and the museum too. Research that was prepared for exhibitions, for example, or for editions or research in general. For example, Bach and Luther is a big topic which we focused on last year. Research that took place some years ago was uh, the Young Bach, which Peter Wolny and Michael Mau uh, contributed to. And they found absolutely unknown, very early manuscripts of Bach. And uh, Bach and the organ, and Bach as organist is also a focus because there is a lot to say. Young Bach was a very famous interpreter of his own works and of his time, and he was a really a kind of virtuoso on this instrument. And also essays on Bach as a teacher and Bach and his pupils at Thomas School are a focus. Yeah.